something that always engages me is the way in which we choose to remember our dead. My father, a lovely easygoing man, God rest him, liked to begin each day with a dance on the kitchen floor after a few hours sleep. And he whistled as he danced. And this is how I like to remember him. Dancing and whistling in the morning. Annoying everybody, of course, but enjoying himself. I see you dancing, Father. No sooner downstairs, after the night's rest and in the door, than you started to dance a step in the middle of the kitchen floor, and as you danced, you whistled. You made your own music, always in tune with yourself. Well, nearly always, anyway. You're buried now in Lislockton Abbey, and whenever I think of you, I go back beyond the old man, mind and body broken, to find the unbroken man. It is the moment before the dance begins. Your lips are enjoying themselves, whistling in air, whatever happens or cannot happen. In the time I have to spare, I see you dancing, Father.